I just feel that this is what we need to do, so this is what we're gonna do. Stranger danger. What is that big giant thing you're pointing at us? We've never seen it. I guess I haven't filmed them since they had just hatched. Good morning, beautiful people. It is a fine spring, summery day. Uh, it's supposed to be nice and hot today, and we started the morning off with a thunderstorm. This is a good example of uh, North Carolina weather. If you don't like the weather, just wait five minutes. So far, we've had winter, we've had spring, and now we're headed into summer, just for today. All right, so before it gets too hot, I'm actually handling some stuff in the garden. Um, I had to do some stuff with the tractor, so while I was busy, I grabbed a rotten bale of hay. You can see this bale, it's, uh, it's seen better days. What we're doing is the garlic has done so good by deep, deep mulching with hay. We're just gonna do it with the corn too. The struggle we always have this time of year is water. I mean, maybe not if it's gonna wanna surprise thunderstorm every morning or every afternoon. Like I won't have problems with water then. Even though the corn is doing all right, you can see we kinda, there's some germination problems. There wasn't germination problems where buggy helped. Maybe you guys can figure out which row buggy helped plant or which spot oh maybe that spot maybe that spot maybe that spot yeah it's kind of easy to tell where the baby helped plant those ones are doing great and we're just gonna let them do their thing like what's the worst that can happen they don't produce every single one of them produce corn it's all right it's all good what she planted there that came up makes up for what i planted that didn't come up so it all evens out. It all comes out in the wash. All right, so basically all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this apart. I'm gonna take hay, nice rotten hay, and we're just gonna run it down the walkways. It'll help suppress weeds, and it'll help hold moisture in the beds. So I'm gonna get this cut apart and start laying some hay down. When uh, I get it all, the thing I found that works the best for holding on to it, get it all lined up even, and then tie everything in one knot and then it's all held together. Alright, now smash corn. Put it on nice and thick. So, speculation time. I don't know why uh, moving from a place that is very arid and dry, uh, some people out here might laugh, but uh, I don't know why this year I feel like it's gonna be a lot drier. You know, I don't have anything to, to point to why I think it's gonna be drier this year. I just do. Talking to Meg, she uh, she's also thought the same thing. It's just, I don't know, it's like a weird feeling. Usually May is when our rain kind of tapers off and then the month of June, we don't get a whole lot of rain. And then usually July is our wettest month. And it's been that way, like getting on the uh, county extension office, July is always the wettest month out here. But what if it wasn't? What if we had a summer more like what we're used to from back in California and it was ridiculously hot and dry. Just some speculation. Uh, I just have a, a weird feeling that even if I'm wrong, which I would love to be wrong about, maybe taking the precautions, doing things like deep mulching everything would actually help us enough to where if it does drought and we end up running out of water, it wouldn't be the end of the world because we've taken precautions to deep mulch everything. So that's kind of what's behind this. It's not a. It's not coming from a place of fear. It's coming from a place of, I just feel that this is what we need to do. So this is what we're gonna do. That's why we're deep mulching stuff. Plus not having to water the garden because what rainfall does come down falls on your, your deep mulched garden beds. And all of a sudden now you can capture and hold on to water for longer and better. Everything does better. This for instance, this blueberry was actually struggling and about a month ago, I deep mulched this tree and I deep mulched that uh, blueberry. I mean, it's very obviously doing quite well. So I've noticed all of them are starting to do a lot better. Deep mulch is the way to go, in my opinion. 
just uh, finding the materials to actually deep mulch stuff. That's been the struggle. I have hay, so that's what I'm gonna use. There we go, corn is now top dressed. Uh, I guarantee you in a few days we'll notice a huge difference. This is gonna make that corn hold on to moisture so much better. Well, make the ground hold on to the moisture so much better. And I bet you that corn loves it. And right, I'm gonna go probably change a shirt because uh, I'm melting. All right, got my hat. I am uh, nearing, nearing time to go inside uh, temperatures. But the breeze feels nice. All right, I got me a hoe. I'm going to hoe these potatoes, see if I can work up enough dirt to uh, throw some dirt on them. And then I'm gonna take the rest of this hay and uh, put it all over them. I'm not real into uh, hilling potatoes, uh, mainly because I always forget. It's like they get way too big. Like those down there, they're too big for me to get in there and really uh, mound them up. Anytime we've done that, uh, we don't see like huge differences in how many potatoes we get. I know you're supposed to, but it's not that big of a deal. If I get to it, I get to it. If not, they'll still produce potatoes. The main thing is just keeping the ones that form on the surface from turning green and toxic. And so usually what I'll do is I'll go and I'll put hay on them to cover up the ground. That way we don't have to deal with any green potatoes. So I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna see if I can work up some dirt. Something tells me it's gonna be pretty hard dirt just cause we haven't had enough rain lately, but we'll see what I can do. There's some weeding that needs to be done too. So I'll see if I can kill two birds with one stone. Broke my hoe. Apparently I had two rows of potatoes left in that hoe. At least I finished. I was done. Guess I gotta find a new hoe handle. It's all right. I'm ready to get out of the sun. I'm not real upset about breaking this hoe. Uh, I knew it was broken. I heard it crack a while ago and uh, I've just been waiting for it to snap. And uh, yeah, that's right. I actually have a brand new hoe handle sitting waiting. So I'll just go put that on real quick. Still kind of a bummer. Actually, it works out perfect because I can get out of the sun. I can go inside, cool down for a little bit, maybe eat some lunch, and then I can do that in the barn. All right, some time has passed. So, uh, came in, had lunch, sat down. Meg uh, had to go upload the video, so I hung around. And then if you watched yesterday's video, you remember I got all that wood at that auction. Jason from Sow the Land, I hit him up. I was like, hey, come get some of this wood. Like I have more than I can use. So he came over, no cameras were grabbed. And so, uh, yeah, my whole afternoon has blown by. Yeah. And it is now time for the dinner. It is. And it looks like you're making something quite delicious. Yes, I'm making Alfredo with chicken. Like and fusilli? Fusilli, yeah, so it's, it's not fettuccine alfredo, it's fusilli alfredo. alfredo. <laughs> hey, the pasta you got is better than the pasta you don't. That's right. Pick me up. Pick, pick me you up. up, what do you say? Please can you pick me up. Sure. Mm -hmm. White sauce pasta is actually one of my yeah. all-time favorite pastas. Alfredo. I love alfredo. Smack the ham. No, you don't need to smack the ham. I don't know where you would have learned that. 
Yes, that's a ham. We're not going to smack it. That is the one I need. One. Yep. That's right. Everybody has one. Good. Everybody has a fork. Cutting up some roasted chicken. And the fusilli looks delectable. Mmm. I'm ready. Okay, good. All right, everybody's still bellied up to the table. <laughs> You're right. I probably shouldn't eat that much because uh, it's a karate night. Yeah. So might uh, might re have regret later. I might have regret later. I'm going to karate. No, not tonight, sister. All right, I think that's gonna do it for today. Today feels like a shorter day. Feels like I didn't get as much done as I wanted. It's okay. It was really hot today. It was hot today. All right, that's gonna do it for today. So we'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.